The beauty of nature. No such man-made creation would ever be comparable to it. Its undefined boundaries show the true quintessence of what our world really is. With that being said, breathtaking wildlife can often be found within the average deciduous forest. The colorful landscape holds a myriad of unique creatures and sights. For instance, you may happen to encounter magical floating leaves out here in the wilderness. That is some real Fushigi shit, if I do say so myself. Many traits of these forests you may already know of. Though considerably the greatest trait there is, is the Sekaira. A fucking Shotterstock image? Well, we don't uh, have any footage, so... You dare insult me with this image? Do you not know who I am? I'm fucking David Attenborough, bitches. What are you talking about? You're just some old constipated guy we found on the street. You do not have the authority to speak to me with such a tone. Now find us some better footage, you fucking ignoramus. Oh, and whose idea was it? To use a plastic bag as a pop filter. Hey, look, it works, okay? My fucking ass, it works. Like all horny creatures, the Sekaida wants to get it in. Their method of achieving this closely resembles that of our own human species. Each male has his very own saxophone, preferably the alto, and has to show his expertise with it. Alongside this, the males have to execute the dance of the Sekaidas. Our expert team of animators have painstakingly recreated this visage. Absolutely beautiful. The nature of the Sekaida is to leave its mark, its sound, in the skies above us. Of course, this means they travel high up into the trees, away from the threats below. During the day, the Sekaidas finally practice and tune their saxophones in order to impress their potential mate. Despite common belief, the sounds you hear in the skies are actually the Sekaidas trash-talking each other. Hey, Mikey. You sound like shit. Why don't you come over here and say that to my face, you... Normal human ears are unable to detect the microscopic sound waves that the saxophones give off. To bypass this, we have engineered one of the greatest technological advancements of our time. We call it the funnel. In order to bring out the cicadas, we need to imitate their method of mating. The best time for this is the early afternoon. Here we will lure them by playing three songs that are guaranteed to get a response, or while well, under the influence of a Sakaida mask. And to assure our findings, of course we use the McSwagger saxophone brand, since it garners the most attention. The first song that'll be used is that song that's in GTA 5 that I happen to forget the name of. Hey, you mind moving over a bit to get more uh, in center with the camera? Look, pal, I'm just here for a fucking paycheck, alright? I don't give a shit if it's not. Yeah, I know, beautiful. There's more that came from, don't worry. No response from the funnel. Funnily enough. Oh, fuck me. For the next song that'll be used, it's... Uh... uh li literally any song by Kenny G.
yeah, I forgot the rest. Uh, how do you think I'm doing it again, though? I'm, I'm not doing that again. Two of the three songs have been unsuccessful. But this last song will surely be enough to lure them out. Last, the funnel has picked up some sound waves. Now it is time to send a renowned wildlife expert into the field to find the cicada. Do they really expect me to find one of those damn bugs in this pitch black forest? Come on, swear. You know, you can always give your camera guy a flashlight that can see farther than two fucking feet. I can barely see where I'm going. How much you bet? I'm gonna walk through a goddamn tree. I'm gonna break my head right open. I'm gonna die. Out here alone. Cause... Oh, oh, Jesus, that's a fucking thorn bush. Oh, oh, damn it. Wait a minute. You sense that? Oh jeez, I finally found him. Yeah, this is where I'm like supposed to give like commentary, but I don't know a single thing about this bug. Like, no, you cannot be vertical. I cannot get footage if it's a vertical. It does not work. Oh, flies get on my face. Look, I, I'm just trying to get a paycheck, all right? Just please, just look, just the damn fly. You know what? I'm, I, I got enough footage. I'm getting the hell out of here. I fucking hate nature. We regret to inform the audience that the, uh, the footage we, we learned the footage our wildlife expert has captured is actually of a generic red beetle and not a cicada. We also learned that our wildlife experts are fucking moron and will be fired. We have no footage for the young cicada. Well, there's always a Shutterstock photo. So, as we can see in the footage here, the cicada has come out looking for a mate. Obviously, this Hold is... up, hold up! I got actual footage! Oh, thank fucking god, get this shit off the screen. Bloody finally. Uh, <clears throat> the cicada attempts to find its way through the dark towering trees to gain its vantage point up above. This strategical move is one that we may or may not understand completely. Why are we back at this footage? Well, we ran out of the other footage, so... We'll just bloody loop the fucking same footage over again! No, we can't do that. That would just be lazy. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, okay, uh... Screw this. Screw all this part. Well, let's just go to when they're fully grown adults. Over a short period of time, the cicada finally grows into adulthood. The adult cicada has grown independent from its younger self, allowing it to think rather hey. logically amidst these harsh and unforgiving hey. environments. Get that camera out of my face. Now wait, we can't just stop recording, we need Listen, this Listen, I have fucking connections. If you don't- The adult cicada has, uh, threatened to sue us due to invasion of personal privacy. How does an animation file a lawsuit against someone? That is impossible. We have no footage. I am absolutely fucking done. Thank goodness for those Shutterstock photos, am I right? No, tell you what. You can find another old constipated man to do your narration, and I will quit. He didn't even sound like Attenborough.